October 11 to 12, 2021, were the two days set aside for the route. A dance and drum workshop hosted by the Department of Theatre Arts, Alex Ekweme Federal University, Ndufu Alike, and Ebony State Council for Arts and Culture, in conjunction with Olaijo Arts and Gallery. The opening ceremony, which was anchored by Mr. Charles Emokbae, began with prayers led by Mr. Emeka Okoha. Dr. Charles Okwo Wulu, the head of the Department of Theatre Arts, A.E. Funai, gave his welcome address and officially declared the workshop open. At the end of this workshop, a certificate will be issued out to both staff and students. And this certificate will be issued out to the students. For those of you in Bobo Bell, you will have gotten this should have been your fourth certificate. Counting from free workshop, counting from uh, our collaboration with the uh, Census Board, and then of course, um, letter of presentation that we're putting to you. Those that don't know what you have, this is one one. And you may not understand the implication of this certificate you are acquired to you need to. And for all of us that are lecturers, it may interest us to know that an associate professor was denied promotion this year simply because he did not participate in a workshop. He did not participate in a workshop like this. So for all of us that are lecturers, it's an avenue for acquiring more certificates. So as we are acquiring as lecturers, we are acquiring as students. As we are acquiring this certificate, we are developing your arts. So I want to uh, give all of us to contribute towards making this program a reality. And having said this, uh, it's my pleasure to declare the workshop. It was time for the major business of the day as Augustine Efe and Shegun Fred, the dance and drum instructors, engaged the participants in different African dances, such as the Bata dance of Ibadan and the Akoto dance of Badagri. Professor Ameh Dennis Akor, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Alex Ekweme Federal University, Ndufu Alike, and the producer of The Root, 
was one of the dignitaries that graced the occasion with his presence while also giving moral support. Well, uh, the dance lecturer initiated the idea. I mean, I had the original idea. Um, and then sold it to the department. And I think we all uh, agreed to have the program. I think that's why it was a success. Um, if you want to ask for my specific role, the goodwill, Oh, I get that. He went uh, all out to uh, make sure that uh, the facilitators came from the southwest, and we're grateful for it. I was happy that uh, my colleagues, you know, did gain some experience. My students learned a lot from the experience too. That should be my joy at this level. to underpin um, the practice of dance and theoretical and filmic practices in various um, cultures in Africa. And um, talking about dance, remember we hosted a very workshop 2019 and of course in, in that we tried to instill some filmic practices you know, particle of me process where we invited people like Tinko Benson, Bioko, and a host of filmmakers to instill some um, filmic practices on our students. But this time around, we're looking at dance and drum. And we're looking at it from the Western sense of it. And so uh, we try as much as possible in, in interrogating our our, our curriculum, which I said was challenging, we tried as much as possible to engage some um, professionals from the Western region of Nigeria. And the, the, the essence is for them to teach our students practically, you know, the, the dance and the drumming culture of the West, uh, which we believe uh, will help improve um, that practical components in their curriculum. And of course, preparing them to be a balanced um, theatre as graduate in the future who will confront the practical requirements you know, of um, being a theatre graduate. <laughs> Coordinating it because I am a dance lecturer and uh, I had the vision, you know, to also teach my students not only uh, the, the act of doing dance of what we have here, 
you know, to bring in people who are from other side of the world, other other part of the of Nigeria, like the West, so they can teach them, so they can also have the feel of other tribal, you know, dance performances across Nigeria. For me, someone like me who has, you know, seen it all, who is in the performance fully, basically dance. That's that's my area 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 of uh, interest. I I have many, you know, uh, objectives for bringing these guys. The first, the the instructor, Mr. Ife, is a is a UIT. I've I had met him once while I went for a workshop there. And I see him as a very vibrant uh, young dance artist. You know, he saw the idea and I kid into it. I said, okay, let's do a collaboration of town and gown. Because we are in the industry, we believe that once you are here, you all you know it all. But that, that's not the that, that's not the essence. The essence is you need to bring those who are outside to come and also teach the students. I so that when they graduate, they also have something to do. They can pick up from where they started. For instance, if someone that has studied theater arts and majored in dance, you only know what the lecturer has taught you here. The lecturer is maybe if he's restricted in his area of uh, interest, maybe I only know about dance of the of, of the East here. You know, the students will only do, do those dances that I know. But if they are exposed outside the East, you know, do dances of the West, do dances of the North. South, South, and all those places, even across, you know, like they, they are into contemporary too. We have introduced our students into contemporary dance, so they'll be able to have a feel of what you're talking about. When you teach them in, in class, they are aware of what you're talking about. They don't, they, they are not fixed to that same thing that you teach them. Those, those theory, theory, theory. I teach them practicals. I teach them theory, but we need to also go outside of our institution to bring people who also do the same thing, so that we can have. Diverse uh, knowledge, you know, that's the essence. I'm also a learner, though a lecturer in the department, but I, I also learned a few things there, um, especially the drumming aspect. At least I can dance, but though not all dance steps that I can do. But the drumming aspect, I learned a few things there. One of the major challenges is drumming. We don't have enough drums. There are drums different categories of drums and we don't have them all because of finance well they should take it seriously because presently the white collar jobs are nowhere we are blessed because we are creative we can use our hands and we can feed ourselves with our hands with all these things going on some of you can come together and form a troop that goes around, whether within the region or outside the region, to teach. And as you are teaching, you are making your money. Creative and performing artist from Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Is, uh, no knowledge is a waste. So whatever knowledge uh, you have opportunity to learn, don't take it for granted because you don't know when you might need it in life. So because you can find yourself in any part of the world. And as African, you should be able to speak your own language. You no, know, because this is African dance majorly that we are instructing. Because the root is about knowing African culture, uh, cultural heritage. So if you are a participant in this workshop, I, that's why I told them yesterday that they should not take anything for granted because what we are just trying to pass down 
you know, what our forebears, our ancestors passed down to us. So now it's their own turn now to continue that legacy. So I hope they will utilize it well in their own way. At least I'm really here in college and I'm glad that if we chatter department, you know, they're able to collaborate with Ola Ejo Hatwa from Ibad. So yeah, I say thanks so much to them and I mean Ola Ejo Hatwa, we are very, very grateful for that. It's the way it is, all students are enjoying to be part of it. Because, like we're in the East, and most of the dance movements we are doing are dance movements in the East. Now, we are, our facilitators are from the West, and they're bringing in movements from the West, like uh, Akpekpe and Bata, which, is, which are prominent dance movements in the West. So this is a new thing for us, to so spice it up a bit. Let's not be, because we're in the East, we do only Eastern dance movements. Theatre is life. Acting is life. As long as they are interested in what we are doing here, they'll go far in life. It's that simple. guest instructors from Fouye and Ebadon. Yes, I'm assisting them Yes, to make sure that everything is going smoothly. Maybe we'll go to mechanic workshop, you can see spanner, you can see this. In a dance workshop, that's where we pieces dance. After pieces, we can now bring it together to fix it. They should take it seriously because they will go places with this workshop. When you go out after graduating, you'll be called. People do you say, okay, we have done it when I was in school. Ah, this is Sakoto, I know it. This is so good, I don't know how to do it. So when we are able to, you to come and defend it, you can defend it perfectly well and be able to explain to them, this is what this dance is all about. As a lecturer in the department, we have asked to be part of it and we are here. We are giving the moral support and again we are trying to see some dance movement that are very new, is involving. So we actually support the, the entire program. Oh, they should take the advantage of the presence of these scholars who have come here to teach them. So that is just my advice for students here. Every serious-minded student uh, should uh, see this as an opportunity to embrace um, uh, such dance and drum uh, performance, okay? Because uh, apart from the idea of uh, being groomed now, it is something that will help them in the future. Uh, it is a conglomeration of uh, different cultures. Just like one of the facilitators, he made mention of we having open mind to welcome different uh, dance from different heritage, uh, different, uh, you know, diversified countries and nations, okay? So it's a conglomeration of different heritage. And you can see the whole thing is so exhilarating and it's mind-blowing. It's an interesting experience that people will live to remember. Although I didn't dance personally, but I was able to help them stay in, in shape. If you have read, um, Alaroti means Kurumi, or Waleguye means Ijaiwo. These are plays that talk about so much of these dance movements in their, in their historical perspectives. 
Sure, it's not going to be a one-off thing. It's something that has come to stay. It's going to be continuous, okay? And the lessons learned from it will be something that will live with our students and staff for a very long time. So far it's been good. We've been catching uh, the best moments we could catch so that we'll end up with a very good documentary. My advice is uh, they should not just come and uh, catch fun. They should not come and catch fun because it's a dance and drum workshop. They should come and learn something. They should come and experience it. They shouldn't go home the way they came. They should go back with something, no matter how little. Yeah, so far so good and it hasn't been that easy. Since the X today, we've been busy doing one exercise or the other. Dancing different kinds of dance, such as Akoto, Bata, and Contemporary. So it hasn't been easy. It has been wonderful. I really love the experience I'm gaining, like the new knowledge and the new wide scope I'm seeing. I really love it. It's actually wonderful. It's actually great. We're learning um, drums, which is the drum ensemble, and we're learning dance. We're learning um, the um, the dance of the Yorubas, especially the um, Bata dance, which is of different, different um, dancing positioning. And then the drum ensemble as well. And songs, sir. According to my topic of uh, projects, which says um, traditional African dances as a culture, as an agent of cultural sustainability. So, seeing that the dances we are doing in this workshop are all from uh, different tribes of Nigeria. You can see that the, like the Bata dance, which is from Yoruba, is not something they did now. It has been long ago, but they keep on practicing it there by sustaining the culture of the Yorubas. Wow, it's fun. Yeah, yo, yo. <laughs> it's, it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. Sometimes we should learn how to go out of um, our comfort zone. You understand? Like this dance now, I've never done something like this. I'm a dancer. I've never done something like this before. But doing this now, like, I, I, I enjoy doing it. It's a vision. It's a vision. And I want to thank the HOD first for keying into this vision. Because when I spoke to him about it, look at what I want to do. He was able to key into it. Not only him, uh, Professor Ako, our DVC here, academics, he was also able to key into it. We sold it to the, to the university. The university also bought to it. You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very big vision that we want to do. The moment is not only doing a stage. You know, we are very good in film. So, but we don't want it to be like a lopsided uh, uh, practice that the students are only taught about uh, film. So we want them to be very, very aware of what happens on stage. At the end of the two-day workshop, some of the dances, songs, and drum patterns taught were presented to the university.
special recognition was given to Mr. Kasme Oyemuchara, the workshop coordinator. Mr. Augustin Efe Ola, the dance instructor. Mr. Shagun Fred, the drum instructor. And Mr. Oko Obona, the assistant dance instructor of Theatre Arts AE49. For their relentless effort in making the workshop a success. Staff members of Theatre Arts Department and Ebony State Council for Arts and Culture commended the final performance from the participants, as well as the running of the entire workshop. It was a nice work, a very good experience. Have you witnessed such thing before? No. Yes. Please, don't ever allow this talent to waste. Yeah, yeah, this is best, second to none. Yes, in this university. And I can tell you that because it's not our accreditation. It's called 92. No department is called 80 in this school. So you should, you, should, you should be proud of this school. Certificates were issued to all participants of the workshop as the head of Theatre Arts Department A.E. Funai, Dr. Charles Okuowulu, gave his closing remarks with an expression of joy and satisfaction for an intense and successful dance and drum workshop. One thing we did one thing we did was to shut down lectures for two days. And that shows you how important this workshop is to all of us. So in our own parts, we believe we have given you the platform, the required platform to express yourself. So, um, we believe that you will not let us down. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you.